Welcome everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Trails in the Sky. As you know, if you were here for the last episode, is that we cut it a little bit short because of the length of the recording. We rescued Princess Claudia and got finally got the confirmation that it is in fact Chloe. I think it was for nobody a surprise but Estelle, but yes. So now, then what's next? What's gonna come now? Are we going to rescue um, the Queen Alicia as well? Or are we gonna make sure Chloe is safe first? That's what we're gonna do today. So without further ado, let's just get straight back into it. <laughs> Words cannot express my shame. If not for my ineptitude, none of this would have come to pass. I'm so ashamed I could take my own life. Were it something to be permitted. Please, do not say such things. I'm just happy to see you alive and unharmed. Thank you for coming to save me. Your Highness. <laughs> not uh, that I'm not moved by all this, but I have to ask. Why is Zeke still here? Sorry? <laughs> well, he is Her Highness' escort, as well as a messenger for the Royal Guardsmen. After all, did he not deliver the letter to your hotel? Oh, that night. I thought it might have been him. It must also be how you learned of Her Majesty's request. Yes, I heard of it from Zeke. Her Majesty sent word through him from the Royal Keep. But the crest room in which Princess Claudia was held had no windows for Zeke to use. I was very worried when I was unable to make contact. You just about gave me a heart attack though, when you sent that message to us. Zeke, that was just plain mean of you to leave that letter and not let us know it was you. Scree. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's saying, I'm a professional. You can expect that. <laughs> he says he's sorry. Ah, uh, it's okay. By the way, have all special ops troops been dealt with? Almost all of the soldiers in the villa has been restrained. However, there are quite a few left in Grenzel Castle. Much of the Royal Army is on the Intelligence Division's control even outside of Grenzel. If we're not careful, we run the risk of them seizing control of this building and branding us all as rebels. Whoa, I hadn't even thought about that. It's a good point. I think it would be best if we were to get Chloe to a safer location at the very least. Hmm, perhaps we should seek asylum at the Erbonian or Republic embassies. Since they're considered foreign territory, it would make it very difficult for them to lay a hand on her. There is also the special ops ship that we see nearby. We could use that to allow her to flee the country for the time being. It wouldn't solve the whole problem, but it would buy us some time to find a better solution at least. I agree. Regardless, we need to find a way to get her to safety. Uh, everyone? I'm still here? <laughs> I understand the difficulties of the current situation, but would it be possible to make an official request of the Brazers? What? The hostage has been rescued, so I think it'll be alright. Of course it depends on what the contents of the request are. If so, I must ask you to do the impossible. Will you help me in retaking the royal castle and rescuing her princess, her majesty? Your Highness. I see, and that's right. This time we have to help the Queen. To be honest, I consider the request to be ridiculous, because the answer is obvious. But Your Highness, this is no small thing you're asking for. Quite right. There's no chance that a frontal assault would work, even with the capabilities of everyone here. I think that captured special ops ship has potential, but we're going to need some kind of seriously clever trick. I have an idea. If everyone would please look at this. Collier produced a very old looking map. What is this map of? It's an ancient diagram of the sewers below Grenzel. One of the things it lay out is the path that leads to Castle uh, Cellar. Those walls we saw in the sewer that we thought were looking very weird, that we're looking for a button to open them. That's possibly the entrance to the castle. Well, what's the meaning of this? How can we have lost contact with the Earl Royal Villa? Most likely it has fallen to an external force, either the guardsmen or the bracers. Those interfering little... Were you not in command of the division, second lieutenant? 
It's a pity, but what's done is done. Obsessing about it will accomplish nothing. Furthermore, you must strengthen the castle defenses to ensure that your majesty is not taken as well. I don't need you to tell me that. I want the castle gate sealed. Not a soul is to enter from here on out. The only attacks I should need to worry about are the ones that come from the sky. Yes, ma'am. Once that's done, scrape up troops from wherever you can find them, anywhere in Liberal, and send them to the villa. Priority one is to subjugate the terrorist who deceived the royal family. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Nicely done. Hmm. Of course it was. I've served with this unit for some time. Unlike you. I swear, I will protect this castle while his excellence is absent, no matter the cost. I think she's talking about Colonel Richard, isn't she? Probably. She's very devoted to him. I mean, extremely devoted, actually. Okay. Here's how we're going to free Grenzel Castle and the Queen. First, Joshua and the two others will infiltrate Grenzel's sewers. You proceed to the Royal Guard Room and open the castle gate. Got it. Time to light a few fireworks. <laughs> well, that does seem appropriate for beginning the final act. As soon as the gates are open, the guardsmen and the four of the braces will make their way to the castle by the way of the streets. We need to make a real spectacle to draw all the guardsmen together in one place. You're in good hands. Alright, I've been looking forward for this. And finally... Your Highness, are you certain I cannot get you to reconsider? I'm sorry, but I must be there to help my grandmother. Also, I know how to pilot an airship. I hope to be able to put that skill to good use. If I'd known this would happen, I never would have taught you. It's okay, Lieutenant. We'll look after Chloe for you. I swear, she'll be kept safe or my nickname isn't the Silver Streak. I understand. Please, do what you can. Once the men inside the castle have been concentrated into one area, a standard team will set down in the garden terrace. Then they'll break into the Queen's room and rescue her. Roger. Both operations will begin at the stroke of the noon bell. Everyone is to remain on alert until then. Alright, you have your task. Get to them. Dismissed. Yes, man. Joshua, please be careful. Don't go taking any unnecessary risks. I'll be fine. You try to be on your best behavior. Don't overestimate your own strength and make sure you watch Sheriff's back. I understand. Whatever happens, remember our promise. We see each other again, safe and sound in Grenzel Castle. Count on it. Joshua, there's no telling what kinds of creatures inhabit the sewers. Please, take the utmost care. I know, and I will. Oh, and don't worry about Estelle. You've grown so much during this trip of yours. Not just in skills and praise qualifications, but in your hearts. Or so it seems to me. Shira. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Save it for later. <laughs> Even in times of crisis, you can always count on these two brats. <laughs> Quite so. Now I think we'll be heading out. May we meet again, my lovelies? Adios be with you. Joshua. Hey, princess. Do you ever wonder if those two have some kind of destiny in store for them? <laughs> yes, the thought has crossed my mind. They always have a smile for each other. I have to admit, I'm even the tiniest bit envious. Yeah, it is a love story in the making, definitely. Well, it looks like the regular soldiers have been replaced with special ops guys. The enemy's probably gotten quite desperate since we liberated the villa. Security seems a lot tighter than normal. Hmm, perhaps I can help loosen them up with the dulcet tones of my flute. You do anything conspicuous and that guy will gonna be on you faster than we can say off-key. Mueller, wasn't it? Uh, yes, 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 yes it was. Uh, you two should definitely, must rather not go near the Erboian embassy. It could be quite dangerous. Yes, yes. Quite perilous indeed. <laughs> well, neither of us has the time to just drop by there. Once preparations are complete, we have to go inside the sewers. 
Definitely. All right. All right. So there are a few places we want to go by. One of them is definitely the guild. I want to see if there's anything new here. And of course, if we are finally getting missions on the board. Joshua Zinn, I'm glad to see the two of you are safe. I heard about Princess Claudia's request from the members of the Royal Guard. Don't worry about us. Even if the Royal Army were to get in, I'll have no trouble pleading ignorance. <laughs> Convincingly. That's good to hear. Job well done, everyone. The operation at Herb Royal Villa was a complete success. We'll take a moment now to pass out the bounties. Please use this money to prepare yourself for any upcoming battles. One plus point. Uh, we sincerely hope you'll continue to uphold your vigilance and dedication. And we will continue to support you in any way we can. It's always good to hear. Alright, so we are rank one. I don't think I want to check. Uh, let's see, where was that page about... There was a page about the levels of... The Gil Ryan? Like what rewards we will be getting for it. Am I overlooking things or... Nah, I think I need to look into this uh, maybe between episodes. Because I'm wondering, because we are class 1 and in my head it's saying that that is the highest we can get at this point and that the only thing we need now in order to become full-fledged senior bracers is the recommendation of this office and I think after we successfully uh, rescued Queen Alicia I sh think we should be able to get that recommendation for this place as well okay no new quest which is actually a good thing because it means we can fo keep on focusing on beating the main mission of releasing the Queen. Uh, we haven't had many customers today and it's rather odd. Since the weather's quite nice. Yeah, it's not very strange with all the special ops people uh, outside. Are there anything new? Nah, I didn't, I didn't expect it to because there's... Because Olivier and Zin were both the people that were already in our party. Did I get the action 3? Yes, I did. And it did seem that Eagle Eye was a lot better than I hold its credit for. Because I removed it for a bit while walking through the sewers a couple of episodes ago. And the reach of where you can see enemies is actually relatively small. So... The Eagle Eye is actually a very good thing, uh, in all honesty. So, I'm gonna leave the separate that we have for what it is. And right now we need to go into the sewers. And if I'm right about where we can basically go further into the sewers to head towards the castle, then this side will be the best one to enter in. Because it will be closer to that end wall. So let's have a quick check, shall we? Because if we can get into the castle today, that would be amazing. Hmm, now let's see. I believe it would be in our best interest to confirm the location of the secret waterway. You're right, please wait a moment. We're currently at this staircase mark here on the lower left. And the entrance to the hidden waterway is where the uh, Esclum is mark is depicted in the center. Really where? Hmm. Isn't he talking about number two mark? Because I think it is. I think that's where I think it was. Right, so first we need to go to that spot and examine the wall. Yeah, I I'm still thinking I'm right about this, so let's have a good old check. 
<laughs> we do have to remember where it actually is, so we might have to go backtrack a little bit, but that's no problem. Because the few enemies we get here will all help towards uh, raising our CP to an acceptable level. And let's be honest, there isn't an enemy here that can uh, give us any trouble. Because by now they are way too weak. And we are protected against their death blow, so... There is nothing they can do about it. That's that then. Let's move out. Uh, I think... Does this lead to it? I'm just gonna avoid a few encounters, just to make sure. I feel like we're in the... Yeah, I think we are in the old part again. Yeah, I think it is. Nope, oh, this is the wall that I was talking about. Haha. <laughs> you got to keep persevering. Yes, this it is. This is it. Yeah, because last time we were here, I was already looking at these walls here and thought, it's really strange having a pathway go against the wall and nothing being here. That's why we were uh, talking back then about finding a switch. Here it is. The map has this area marked. Hmm, I don't see anything special. Those royal family sneaks sure know how to hide things. Hmm, I suppose this will require a hefty amount of searching. I'll go first. Hmm, here it is. Nice work. Hmm, impressive. Have you some particular knack for finding hidden switches? A knack? It's just practice. You just naturally learn what to feel for. Hmm, natural, he, huh? Tell me, you weren't a phantom thief of some kind in your childhood, were you? You know, the kind that shows up in plays and the like? Oh, please. <laughs> Time isn't our side, guys. Let's get moving. This is the real deal. Yeah, so enemies in here can potentially be stronger than before because this is a new section. And if you remember, there was one chest that we couldn't open because there was no way to reach it. We might be able to get there right now. I hope. <laughs> Alright, getting a few preemptive strike with a new enemy. Is never a bad thing, because that way we can learn about their weaknesses <laughs> before they learn about ours. Not a lot of HP, fire, weakness. Yeah, I think we can handle these. Nighty night, kitty cats. <laughs> Nighty night, kitty cats. Holy, look at the size of the thing. Is that going to be an extermination request or just a normal monster? It's just a normal monster. Holy shit. Uh, yes, let's use some arch against it. In the hope of uh, triggering a effect. <laughs> Yeah, if we can just take down one. Yes, and then the other one. Oh, he's not down yet. Damn, we've really been unluckily lately with the HP, because HP one, th that's just bad luck. It should definitely have been that. <laughs> Huh. 
Why am I getting the idea that they have like a failsafe? That they will always end up with one? Nope, it's just seven. Healers. <laughs> they messed with the wrong guy. No worries. Now that we know that's a normal enemy, we. Ah, oh, I just wanted to avoid it. You know what? Screw that. <laughs> I'm just gonna annihilate them. I might have just wasted my uh, CP, but come on. That's not the one you should be aiming for. Cover that CP before you know it. Savor the victory. <laughs> and I've been caused by my, um, let us say, quirk of trying to avoid uh, monsters and by that trying to avoid them, never being able to avoid them. Uh, one per hero, death team. <laughs> And of course, there's a chest that we would have really loved to have that CP back. All right, uh, give me a minute. <laughs> Enjoy the show. All right, that took care of my uh, lack of CP. <laughs> Monsters appeared. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a big group. the big one here and I want to see if we can see if this is big enough yes yeah, it's big enough all right because with the critical we definitely should be able to uh, take them all down and then we can save Joshua's one for a potential future fight
Savor the victory. We earned it. <laughs> Such a great amount of sympathy. A reflector. What's that gonna be? You guessed it, it's empty. Uh, so is it gonna be like a piece of a chess piece or something? Yes, it is. It did sound like that, didn't it? Okay, so this is going to Joshua. And the shield code is just left because we already maximized the equipment of everyone. Well, not everyone. I can put this lighter and put in a sculpt pendant just in case. Because we did buy them in a few episodes ago just to give to Olivier. Oh, we managed to avoid it this time. <laughs> All right, that's done. Let's continue on. Oh, are they all gonna be this big? No, I I, I do not want to use my <laughs> CP for a normal enemy group. If it wasn't a chest, then it would be another thing. That should uh, get most of them. Do you have an, one as well? Probably. And this is one of the reasons why I really truly love my area attacks. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on the one enemy I cannot uh, hit with my magic. Is this gonna be enough? Or do they need another push? They do need another push. Alright, we could do the evil eye. Does a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna be against these normal enemies. But I'll take it. Savor the victory. We earn it. Dear old bomb. So, you've returned. <laughs> we haven't even been there yet. So don't talk about returning. Should already be quite a bit ahead to the castle. And can you move a bit? Thank you. I'm trying to avoid uh, finding these because they are self destructive. And I'm assuming that because it's in this area, they're going to be like a group of five or six. So it's going to be really annoying with the damage they can do to us. All right. Yes, and I did skip one wall, but it's more like a uh, choice. I think the other door looks so ornamental that it might have been uh, someone that... Uh, a door that leads to someone really nice. Gonna do the same thing as before. Let's see what's gonna happen. And of course, we're gonna use uh, Olivier to shoot the self-destruct one, of course. Oh, so much damage against those two. And in the end, still uh, getting more CP than we Save actually need. We oh, that's really good. All right, please just lead to a chest. That's all I'm asking.
And it is. And seeing how this chest is presented. Oh, there's going to be something big in it, isn't it? <laughs> Show yourself. Ah, it's, it's just a normal one. I'm gonna be arrogant. I'm gonna evil eye it. That mm, will not be before one of them can do anything. But the flyer is still gonna be down, isn't it? Alright. It's risky, but I think we can uh, do it. Oh, yes, all of them gone. I'm happy that I didn't do anything. Uh, let's see. You can go down. And if you use an art, will that be in front of it? No, it will not. There's nothing we can do that is fast, right? Alright, then we just have to take the hit. Oh, it's not that! <laughs> Ooh, RMP to activate it. Nice. Found cloak. It just mocks you with its emptiness. Yeah, I can feel it mocking me so much. Uh, what's cloak? Is that gonna be an accessory? What's it gonna be? I'm at a loss. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Because <laughs> it feels like a equipment piece, not a weapon piece. It is not. Then what the hell was it? Oh, it's a uh, quartz. I did not expect that. No encounters. Ooh. Interesting. Definitely handy if you want to get out of a place without being attacked. Nice. But we did end up making the right choice taking this path. And to be honest, the ornaments on the door really gave it away. Decision way too late. No. <laughs> oh, we can take it. I should have healed Joshua before doing this. The only reason I'm doing that is purely f because of the impede. Just to annoy the egg. <laughs> and with it, I will accept the damage. And they should kill off the two walls. Then only you have the sheep left. Yes. Let's hope the sheep will not target Joshua. about this <laughs> double death blow yeah it's it's that <laughs> all right nicely done
There's the big kahuna. Oh, come on, our party's not that long. The one thing I've learned a lot about this game is you cannot cut corners. And the game will punish you beyond belief if you even try to do that. <laughs> Alright, let's give them a stink eye. Might as well take this one out of the equation. But on the other hand, by getting these sur the surprise attacks, it does make you think a little bit more about uh, the combat situation. Because it, it challenges you a little bit, and I like that. But let's be honest, we're more than powerful enough to they defeat these enemies. The, the only thing going against us is time, because I wanted to do it uh, a little bit more quickly. Three of them, a new one. Is that the female? It is. Nice. All right, let's. Oh, they're too far away for a faint attack. <laughs> mm, I could use magic, but this is not a very high effectiveness rate, has it? Uh, let's just dual strike it. The males do seem to be weaker, which is not really that strange. Oh, double dead blow. Nice. I'll take that. <laughs> and stoned. <laughs> right out of his gourd. Uh, let's do quick draw. That way we know that the Petrify will be taken off the table. We can do another dual strike, hopefully we're lucky. Even if it's not, it's still a decent amount of damage that we can uh, bring back home. And that I wouldn't have wanted to happen. <laughs> Yeah, let's not use any more graphs, let's just pound them into oblivion. And there they go. Perfect. That's that then. Let's move out. Alright, and we know there is nothing, but I still had to watch. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, heal them up before we head along. And like I said before, we should be pretty far in already. Beyond the door is a stone wall blocking the way. Whoops, I guess this is the end of the line. Yes, but there's a hidden door here. There's a switch to activate it. Hmm, we should probably stay on standby until noon. Uh, yes, do something else. Okay, and the reason I'm saying do something else, because I think this is a very nice place to leave the episode, because we're about to... Uh, invade the castle and prepare everything for the assault uh, we have the sewers at our backs that we can use to well to maximize the small little CP we still are missing on Olivier 
and in the process maybe gain some more sepith and maybe a level or two so this would be really nice so we're gonna do that next time we're gonna invade the castle until then i wish you all a great night morning day wherever you are and if you're still here hit that like button subscribe and i hope to see you next time Bye bye